ought to let God write your love story. I want to do my part as best I can. Do the parts that's in the Bible. Just do those. The more you do those, you will do your parts well. So look at the parts that pertains to you about manhood, about husbandhood, about business, whatever it is that you're involved in, and and, and allow those things to be a part of your life. Because when you allow those things to be a part of your life, then you'll play those parts in those parts of your life that will create the love story. For instance, my wife and I's love story, man, it's amazing. I, uh, I, I couldn't have written it myself. I couldn't have written it better. Um, I remember times when I was trying to write a love story, those love stories never were published. See, my wife and I's love story to this point, what is a published material is published. We, when we got married, that chapter, that, that volume, that series one of our courtship and marriage, a courtship and wedding and how God orchestrated that book was published of our love story. See love stories have series, you know how they're a volume. Some books, they, they, there's a, a, a series one volume one. Right. And so, but what I realized about that first volume of my wife and I's love story, I was like, God is really the author and the finisher of this. Like he was the one that, that when I began to, when I put the pen down and I stopped trying to type this story, I begin to see God go into type mode, go into write mode. I begin to see the script. I go all the way back to when I was preaching off of South Mint Street and unplugged and in a little church building. And, and, and as I was preaching, I didn't know that on that day, God was writing my, my wife to be able to come into my Bible study. I didn't know that her friend who learned about my ministry, God wrote her, her, her as a character in my story. You'll be surprised the characters in your story that's going to be used for your love. So I didn't know that her friend coming to my Bible study was going to be a key character that was going to bring the main character into my life to one day be my wife. God scripted that. If I was looking for the person who knew my wife, I wouldn't have found her. I can go back two, three decades when we was 12, 13, 14, 15, that my wife and I were in the same youth sleepovers, youth nights, you know them lock-ins? I didn't know that we was in the same gym. Could it be that she was in front of me in the pizza line? Could it be that when I was playing ball and the ball went out of bounds and I bumped into her and said, excuse me? Could it be that when she was walking down the hall, I probably was like, Yo, that's she cute. But if you begin to allow God to write the love story, you will begin to see, sit back and see the salvation of the Lord. And so from that day and then from all the interactions and, and, and how we and how I was able to propose and, and God told me that I was going to propose on Resurrection Sunday, April 3rd, 2016, a year prior. And then God created a miracle for me to do it on that day. Only God can script this. And then when my wife was was worrying about whether or not she was going to get the venue of her dreams at Queens College, when she was like, man, I don't even know how I'm going to do it. And to watch God script that. That out all me and my wife do right now is watching volume three of our marriage right now season three of our marriage watching the script of god unfold so what am i saying to you don't try to write your love story god has already written it all you got to do is rest in it and then you'll find all the scripts all the characters all the things that would then play a part to making your love story Volume one, love story, volume two, because right now I don't want this love story to, to end tragically. You know what I'm saying? I want this love story, volume three, right now, my wife and I as, as parents, this is our third volume of our love story, having our daughter in a mess and, and teaching her God's love story. See, when you begin to understand God's love story, it makes you get excited about the love story he creates in you, because then you begin to see God is a good script writer. But you got to be in the scriptures because the scriptures will lead you to that script. Hope to help.